In this video we will go over the assembly of the power supply kit. When you want to assemble your power supply to your printer, your printer will look something like this. What the kit consists of is the power supply, 3 meters of normal 3 core cable, a 3 point plug, 3 M3 by 8 screws and 9 M3 washers. The power supply looks like this. On the back side it has holes for mounting. We'll use these screws to mount the holes to mount the, the power supply. On the other side you can see there's a fan and the electrical connections are made on this side. The three connections on the right hand side is where you will connect your, your 220 volts that one is for live, the second one is for neutral and the third one is earth and then the next three connections is for the ground or the the 12 volts and the last three connections are for the positive 12 volt so your red wires that goes to the printer will go there and your black wires will go there The first thing that we'll do is we will mount the power supply with the electrical connections to the bottom on the back of the printer on the left side. So on the outside of the vertical um, triangular component that's at the back of the printer. We'll use the three M3 by 8 screws and we will put the washers first onto the, the screws, You'll, it, the amount of washers that we'll use depends on the amount of thread that's in the power supply. So you will use about two or three washers for each screw and then we fix it from this side of the plate. Now the power supply looks like this. You can see that our three M3 washers extra which I didn't have to use when fixing the power supply. So the next step we'll do is we'll connect the power supply to the electronics of the printer which is mounted on the other side of the printer. We will do this by taking the three core cable and cut two sections of 600 millimeters each from this cable. Then we will clean the ends so we'll take off the insulation. We will only use the brown and the blue wire to connect the power supply to the, the electronics. So we can cut the yellow and the green which is usually used for the earth. We can cut it the same length or cut it shorter the same length as the outside insulation. When we have prepared the wires we have two cables that looks like this, 600 millimeters long and on the tips the, the uh, green and yellow wire is cut off and the blue and the brown wire is cleaned to be connected. Okay, so how we will connect it is we'll use the black wire as the negative or the ground and we'll use the brown wire as the positive to connect the 12 volts of the power supply to the ramps boards which sits on the other side of the printer. So for this, for these two cables we can use two sets of the 12 volt connections and they'll go through the to the bottom through the, the frame they'll run alongside the bottom of the printer to the other side through the, the hole and it will go up to the ramps board. Just make sure that you connect the blue wire to the negative on the RAS board and the brown wire to the positive. When you are done with the connections, it will look like this on the power supply side. So you'll see that there's that pin and that pin is still open for the fans that will um, that's always running on the printer and that's the one set of connections for the 
the one towel supplied to the ramp sport and that's the other one. On the ramp sport side the connection looks like this. We've made it to the green connector on the ramp sport with the first one is the negative, then the positive, then the negative, then the positive. It is required to connect to all, th all four pins because the um, pins on the left hand side is for the heated bed and the pins on the right hand side are off for all the other electronics. The last step is to connect the plug to the remaining cable and to connect the cable to the power supply. This is for the 220 volt uh, supply from the, the socket in the wall. So the rest of the cable remaining we will use for that. And if you open the plug you will see that it's usually marked. The pin on the left hand side is for the neutral. So this one goes to the, the end on the power supply and the one on the right hand side is marked with an L for live and that goes to the L on the, the power supply. We'll use the blue cable in the, uh, in the um, cord to connect to the neutral and the brown one to connect to the live and we'll use the yellow and green cable to connect to the top one which is earth which goes to the, the earth, earth connection on the on the power supply. After connecting the 220 volt cable the connection looks like this on the power supply side so the brown one goes to the live connection the blue one to the neutral and the yellow and the green one to the earth and on the uh, on the plug side it looks like that the blue one to the neutral the brown one to the live and the green and yellow one to the to the earth you're welcome to extend or shorten this cable according to your requirements to get to the the plug Finally, we will close up the plug, that it looks like that. And we will also add some insulation tape on the 220 volt connections because it is dangerous to have open 220 volt connections. If you are, for instance, working here and you touch those connections, it can, um, it can injure you. Then the final thing to note is on the left hand side here there is a green LED which goes on if the power supply is, is on and next to it is a small potentiometer which you can adjust the output voltage of the power supply. Now it's a, it's a good idea to increase the voltage a little bit um, to between to about 12.5 volts it's um, what's important to remember is that the ramps board is not designed to receive um, uh, input voltage of more than 13 volts so it's recommended to not go much more than 12.5 volts the advantage of increasing the supply voltage to the ramps board is that your heaters your especially your heated bed and your hot end will heat up quicker